Brother, uh. we try to urban air so you don't have to. Hey, I'm Tavon. And I'm Lauren. And welcome to the Jewelry Gang. We are going to be giving one to five stars based off these categories price, attractions, cleanliness, and safety, food choice. Yes, sir. So let's get started. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about the price. Yeah, so how much does urban air cost? Um, so if I'm looking down, I got my new iPad right here. So, um, so there's three packages there's the deluxe package, which is $27. There's the ultimate package, which is 33 and platinum, which is 43. These plans come with different offerings, as you'll see over the screen. Um, there's different things that you can do. And there's also an a la carte option. So if you don't want to do certain things, you just want to pay for one thing like go kart or just pay for laser tag. You could do that. OK, babe. so what about membership pricing? Oh, yeah. So membership pricing that's good for basically. So if you want to take the kids out every day, every day of the week or every few times a month or whatever, you can save uh, money. Um, cause if you just do, let's say the platinum tier, that's like 43, $43. So 43 was right out down to 40. So once a month or once a week, $40, that's 160. But you could just pay whatever membership, um, you can pay the membership price and you get all of the attractions at that level, at that tier level, um, for as many times as you want. And when you get the membership plan, it typically comes with a snack and a free slice of pizza. So that's good too. So like, what's the rating for the price? Like, what would you say? So at the ultimate, okay. So basically at the ultimate attraction level, um, the price is the same as sky zone. So you can see the sky zone price up here. Um, but for $10 more, you can upgrade to platinum and with platinum, you get laser tag, the VR and unlimited go-kart and sky zone doesn't have go-karting in their facility. I'm not sure if they have laser well, tag. Yeah, they don't have laser tag. Yeah, they definitely. No, I don't think they have it's VR. All yeah, and, just and foam pits. yeah, trampoline, foam pits. You can do backflips off of that stuff, and also you have to get the Urban Air socks, which are probably the exact same as yes. um, Sky Zone socks, yeah. um, for three dollars and fifty cents. And you can't use personal socks. You can't bring socks in. And also, I wish there was a buy one get one instead of like a buy two and get one for this purpose. For us, like we have Genesis and Amber. Um, because if you don't, you have to pay $86 for the platinum level. Maybe a buy one, get one for around $65, like knock off $20, whatever. So the rating is what? I don't know. I give it a 3.75 for the price because I feel like you there's a lot to do in there. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it still could be cheaper. Okay, so what can you do at Urban Air? You could do a lot of things. I have, I'm, you already know the list is going to be up on the screen and everything. So basically you can do laser tag, you can do VR, you can do go-karting. They got the, the trampolines, you, you can do dodgeball trampolines, all that stuff. Uh, they got like the little Ninja Warrior type of um, obstacle course. They got that little, uh, what's that, wipeout thing where yeah. kids are trying to jump over the stuff and get <laughs> get knocked out and everything. Wall um, climbing. Yeah, and they have the battle. Oh yeah, the wall climbing is really cool. Um, you can see up on the screen the kids wall climbing. They have the battle beam, which is basically where you're on that beam and you're smacking each other with the little whatever it's called the battle the beam whatever the thing is called and into the into the foam pit yeah one thing i don't know if we said that but they oh the sky rider um uh, which we'll talk about that in a little bit but it's basically this this train not train basically you're strapped to the harness and you're swinging up from the ceiling it's like a zip line. Yeah, ex exactly so what would be the rating for like the attractions there was so much stuff there i would say just off the fact that they have a lot of stuff there i would give it a five out of five just off of pure we're not talking about safety they talk about the cleanliness the order of it if, if people were operating it well just off the sheer number of things to of do. things to do i think mm -hmm. there's over 13 different things that you could do okay so let's move on to the cleanliness and safety so for cleanliness <laughs> let me just say a lot of like when we walked in, the only thing I saw was just like I saw a few people cleaning, but one person was cleaning up one little piece of um of um like a straw paper. And I was like, Are you a prop? Because it just felt like I'm gonna clean up this one thing to say I did it. To make you look busy, like you're here. Yeah, just... like you're just doing like you're just doing stuff. <laughs> well you can just bend down and pick it up, but hey, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, okay. Um, but it the cleanliness was it it, it got worse. As mm. the night went on, yeah. uh, I don't know if you noticed that Tavon, but it, it got worse. The night went on. Oh, so night. Okay, so basically, so you know, no, when we went, went on a Sunday. Oh yes, we did not on, tell you that on the Lord's Day after <laughs> church. 
we got there at kind of like three ish. So yeah, at the tail end, peak 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 time. So yeah, mind like the you, the last group, but they have groups on there. Um, we should have said that for the membership. Sorry for that. Um, they have groups on there. They have like they'll give you wristbands and they'll yeah. like, tell you like the color and they'll call out the color and say, hey. Your time is up. You have to leave. Yeah, like everybody with a blue bracelet. Your time is up. You got thirty minutes left. Fifteen minutes left. Right. And like I said, so so this is our first time going. So. But this was our last. We were the last group. Yeah, last group because we stayed we, because we got there at three. And stayed till closing. Basically, stayed till like seven, and so I think they closed at like seven thirty or seven forty-five. So like especially the food place closed at seven thirty. Um, because they was making them they, announcements. They you said know. that so. Like, hey, yo. If you don't know when the food court closing, <laughs> I don't know what's wrong that with you. Like last time to order these basic wings and DiGiorno pizza, guys, because we closed the shop. Uh, around the tables, every, there was trash everywhere. People did not know how to pick up after themselves, but you know you can expect that from people in general. Um, yeah. So like a lot of the people, the workers there, they were not cleaning up. Like there was nobody wiping tables down. Mm. So what I ended up having to do was before my dad put with my dad, we went with my um my parents. Yeah. So basically, uh, before before we could even like put anything down on the table, I was like, uh, hold up, sir, <laughs> and then I <laughs> and I wiped the table down with. <laughs> With my disinfectant wipes, like she, and did, like she basically almost stiff on her dad. I did. I was like, "No, dad, no, we're not doing it." And my dad was just like, "Can I put them down now?" Like, uh-huh. <laughs> and I was just like, "Okay." And my stepmom was like, okay, "Are we good?" Like, so I wiped everything down, um, and then then he was able to put the food down. But I would just and I saw somebody else with some with some um, some disinfectant wipes too because they knew what was up. Um, it was just disgusting because of the fact that like everybody since it was not a lot of tables there. Everybody was kind of like sitting down as soon as, um, like someone was standing up, yeah, like it was that serious. And we'll get to that later on, um, for that breakdown because that one was something else, uh, yeah. <laughs> really like something else, okay. Yep. <laughs> and, um, so yeah, for that part, uh, mm-hmm. the bathrooms, uh, for my situation, I took um, Genesis to the bathroom. And I walked in there. I didn't walk all the way back to the bathroom, but I didn't see anything on the floors. The sink was decent. Mm. Um, the toilets, I didn't see anything on the toilets. Thank God, because I cannot stand when I see that. It makes me sick to my stomach to see stuff like that. Yeah. And um, it was fine. She was able to go to the bathroom, and that was fine. Uh, Tavon, you said you had different stories. Yeah. So, so, so okay, so okay, so I'm gonna talk about the bathrooms first. And then I'm gonna go to the um, like the other stuff, like how everything, the attraction where they clean everything. So basically, so I went to the bathroom, um, and it was it was it was it was it was decent. You know, you had paper towel on the floor by the sink. You know, whatever. That's fine. I guess the urinals they were clean, whatever. So I go use the bathroom. And as you can see up here on the screen, I go and wash my hands at the sink, and I look to the left, and there's this sink that has like I don't know what it is, look like food or Somebody threw up in there, bro. Oh, stop. And, no. and I was like, I was like, wait a minute. I have to get a video of this so I can just show more. So, so like, I haven't seen it yet, and I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about this. Yeah, so basically, I was trying to take a video, and then person came in, so I had to throw my phone away and just act like I was doing a phone call wait for them to leave. <laughs> yeah, because I wanted to be like, why are you recording this sync? But so after he left, I was like, okay, get my phone back out and let me record this and everything. So, yeah, that was disgusting. Uh. Um, And, yeah, Lauren was, yeah, if Lauren would have saw that, Lauren probably would have. I would have left. Yeah, left them have to go to therapy and everything because Lauren does not like anything in the toilet. Like I said, like Mm-mm. like it could be a clean piece of toilet paper. Mm-mm. You know, it just it just triggers or whatever. It does. So how clean was the lobby? Basically, as soon as you walk in, it's like you're met like smack dab where the registration and the um the waiver form sign up is. Like the kiosk. Yeah, the kiosk. So it's the lobby essentially is the whole dang on place. Um, so that was, I guess, okay, clean, as clean as you, ex- and you uh, as clean as you can expect from a place that's full of kids and adults. Nothing was on the floor by the door. Yeah, so by the door. That. Nothing was on the floor by the door, mm-hmm. but I wouldn't eat off that floor. Yeah, and I want to sticky, all that crap. Mm-hmm. So how clean and safe are the attractions? Um, well, there's as clean as you expect it to be. I mean, there's no visible dirt or grime on this stuff. Like, you know, it's, it's probably, well, it's not probably, it is dirty if you get a magnifying glass and swab it. But, oh, you, sure. but you know, like, it wasn't like no visible dirt or whatever. They're as safe as you expect a trampoline park to be. You know, it's trampolines. You have to sign a waiver. So it's not really safe at all if you have to sign a waiver. But, you know, it's as safe as a trampoline park could be. But one thing I did not like, and you can see on the video, is how close 
So like this is rope course. And rope course is kind of almost near over us. It's top of the uh, even the zip line. So it gives us zip lining. And Laura, me and Laura had thoughts of like, what if somebody threw up or had diarrhea and it's just flying over us? So, oh, yeah. bar eating. But that's the size of it. Right underneath, the, underneath there because mm -hmm. people are eating in this one section. Yeah. So you got somebody flying over. Oh, sorry, you can't hear my Flying over. What was that again? Alexa, stop. So you have somebody <laughs> flying over basically over us while we're eating. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, this is the only place to really eat. Yeah. Um, so you're sitting here and it's, I guess people are eating and then some, somebody can easily throw up. Kids are nasty. Sometimes they will spit. They're nasty. I mean, like, it's like you look down and you say, I can just spit on people and just spit. Something falling on your head. You know what I'm saying? Like Heck, a shoe could have flew off. A shoe could have flown off. Well, actually, no, there's no shoes on there because they have a socks. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, like, oh. anything can happen. Somebody's, there's adults on there, too. Um, and, and I know there's a weight limit, but sometimes people... You know as adults, so if you don't you get in this comment section and pretend like you don't be lying about your um your weight, don't you do it? Okay. They put the so high people, school weight. The, the high school weight. And I ain't weight. been in high school in twenty years. Okay. Okay. Because <laughs> look, we, we we all do it. We yeah. all lie about our weight. I mean, okay. Um, the, the, the thing could say two uh two fifty or whatever you like. My driver's license still says two twenty, and I weigh two twenty since two thousand ten. And here we are in two thousand twenty four. That part. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, part. I they they just say I need to change it, so it's no, good. They said you want to change your weight. I, I'm like, like, nah, do I look like I'm that size? Yes, and then I'm that size. Period. <laughs> you have to be aware that there are teens who are running this place, and we're going to talk more about that later. But there are teens who are running this place, and things can happen not on purpose. Like mm -hmm. you know, you forget to clip something in. It didn't like they had a whole bunch of training, and like I said, we'll get into that later. But yeah. just to say that for that situation that is that's scary to me to even yeah. think about doing that so, so that's that's the safety part of that yeah. um that's one part of it the whole ropes course whatever it's right above us but just i guess that's fine it is is what it is but there's these columns that hold up the building right and they're like within inches apart they're like intertwined in them so so like a kid falls off the course right i mean they'll be fine because they're tethered in but they swing in they can hit the head on this concrete slab this place wasn't built for this you know because clearly i mean if it was like they wouldn't have put a column right there or if they did they would have padded it it wasn't it wasn't even padded mm. it was just cement yeah up and down it, it didn't seem like the building was built for this you know it wasn't i think it's was, i don't know what it was it's an old warehouse it could be a furniture warehouse or whatever there's a vr section and um oh, yeah. at one point one of the workers there she was using a disinfectant wipe on one of the um the goggles um the vr goggles and um or I said just a headset excuse me please don't come come for me VR. but the vr headset so she was wiping off each one as of course as you're supposed to but she used the same wipe for each child and so my stepmother had to sit there and tell her um tell her like hey can you get another wipe for each child because that's not sanitary mm -hmm. so that's another thing to keep in mind for safety if you don't want your child to get sick let's just think about that part and then the other thing is when uh, she put the VR headset on Genesis, Genesis apparently, like she didn't see the Genesis walk out of the VR area. Yeah. And so I saw Genesis walking out of the area and I was like, how the heck did she get out of there? Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting here, I have the, Genesis doesn't even know it's me. I asked her just like before we started this video, I yeah. said, did you know it was me and led you back into the VR area? She said, no. Yes, so therefore, <laughs> that means another person could have come in there, and this is a scary thought for any any mom on here. A person could have come over there, a man or whoever could have taken my child, and she would have never known. Okay, so if you like this video, can you please hit the subscribe button? Yes. Okay, and like this video, and even comment and let us know how you what you what you thinking. Have you been to Urban Air? Let us know. Now back to the video. So let's talk about this food because Tavon was ready for this food. Okay. <laughs> all right so on the screen you already see the menu and everything they have pizza wings tenders nachos pretzels ices and popcorn um so the line was long and, and slow ice creams too. oh yeah little bootleg um dipping dots like on six flags but they were good, they're called mini melts yeah yeah we did we ate no jokes um <laughs> <laughs> i ain't gonna lie um but the lines are long and slow um, you probably spend about 15 minutes in the line before you even get to order. Um, so, um, the, her dad um, ordered us the pizza, waffle fries for the girls, and wings. Uh, it took and a some, like, um, veg, and celery, veggie, veggie like, sticks, yeah, veggie whatever. Stick, yeah. uh, a veggie platter. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and that took over one hour to get this. We were just sitting there, just waiting, you know. And they told us fifteen to twenty minutes. Yeah, no, it's fifteen to twenty minutes in the line. Then we get the order. It's about another hour. Um, so <laughs> let your kiddos play. They'll make an announcement over there. Party of whatever. Come get your food. Your food's ready. Whatever. So how did the food taste? Um, yeah, go go. Well, actually, I guess I'll start no, first. You start. You press. Go ahead. Ah, okay. So <laughs> I think the best part of it was the wings, but these wings kind of tasted like, you know, like the Tyson wings that you get from the grocery store that you just put in the oven. Well, it tasted like Tyson, but I think they were the Murray brand because I know that I know that barbecue flavor. I know how that flavor. I actually tastes. thought the wings were okay. They were. Yeah, bad. and that's why I said they were the best thing. Yeah. They're... Well, I, I thought the best thing was ice cream. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> they mean, take me out dipping dots was the best thing for me, and um and the soda. Pizza was the pizza Too was much okay. Dough. It was okay. It was alright. The crust was big. Even but, but even while you while you're eating there, it doesn't smell like a place that you want to eat at. Anyway. Mm-hmm. So even then, you're like, like you know, sense of smell it plays a role in, in what mm-hmm. you're eating. So if you don't smell food, yummy food, it's like. Um, I don't know if I want to eat this. But the waffle fries were soggy. Um, and the piece was okay. Oh, God, and nasty. It yeah. Was nasty. Um, can you bring outside food in? Uh, you're not supposed to, but I saw some guy bring in, like, some broccoli and some steak from somewhere. I was like, yo, is this where they serving? Oh, that's Yeah, yeah. I was, like, I was like, oh, I see broccoli. I see some meat. I was like, oh, they got beef and broccoli here? I thought they, sold, I thought they were selling it there. Oh. I, I looked up there. I didn't see no beef and broccoli. It was not no carryout, so they did not have that. So the seating, there was not a lot of seating here um there's basically three sections so like basically in front of the cafe there's like probably about maybe 10 booths um then to the right or depending on how you're looking at it but it's adjacent to the cafe there's a party room where you got around the party room they got tvs in there that's cool mm-hmm. and then in front of the party room there's more party seating right so there's no other place to sit except for the booth um, there's a few benches and then there's these massage chairs that everybody was sitting in but wasn't getting a massage and i looked at the sign and it said do not sit in it unless you are getting a massage but um but there was a situation that almost went down with the seating part um situation because um I there was a person who came who was at, like there was a, a family that was getting up um and getting ready to leave and then there was another family coming in and they just mm-hmm. went bum rushing and that like Man. sat down at the table and the family was like well dang can we get our stuff yeah like, it was it was like legit was like they fight. were about to leave this guy was car he was sat in there like the food was still on the table yeah they didn't get their bags the purse yet he just sat there quiet he did not like you know how, like when you driving cut someone off and the person pulls next to you to keep your head straight you don't look at them That's exactly how he was he was not paying them any attention Instead of them saying something to him, really, they said, "Dang, we didn't get like it was like kind of passive." It's yeah. like they should have said something to him, like, "No, you can't do that." Yeah. And I and I wouldn't have moved. I would say, "You know what? Actually, we're about to sit right back down." And I would be yeah. really petty about it because, it's, like I said, right is right and wrong is wrong. I, I forgot to give y'all the rating for the food, so I'll give it like a, a two out of five, man. Like I said, the best thing was the Mountain Dew and the and the wings. The wings were, you know, like I said, basic. Oh, they're okay, you know, they're wings, but yeah, two out of five. Yeah, it was, it was okay. You know, McDonald's would have been better, but you can't bring outside food in. And one more thing about the um, the seating, um, it's important to have good, more seating because, like, like Savon said, for families with people with children, um, this woman had one woman had her her child on um, with an air hockey. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I was like, dang, what if I wanted to play air hockey? But she had her baby laying on that on the air hockey thing. And I said, oh, really? Yeah. Like, what are we doing? I bet there was no seating. And, and, but... It's understandable. Like, I mean, we're, like, like this. I'm holding this baby right now. She is heavy, okay? And, I, I, like, you want to put her down, right? Yeah, and you bringing a stroller isn't something. Don't bring a stroller in. Cause like, Don't I, do that to yourself. Yeah, yeah. A carrier is better. Yeah, bring a carrier if you got a little one. Um, And, like, looking at the old footage on YouTube when they first went there, it was more open because they didn't have the go kart um, section there. I wanted to make sure that um, you guys think about this too. This is this is specifically specifically for um, the Laurel, Maryland location. Um, there are there are teens there, okay, that are running the the entire thing basically, teens and I guess young adults. Now, 
I'm not going to bash teams because I don't believe in that. Mm -hmm. Um, But what I will say is that what we need to do is understand that teams are not, the teams of today are not where we were before. And then we weren't like our parents when they were teens. So the the responsibility is a little bit um, like lax. Okay. Over at this location. Um, my dad actually got into one of, um, into it with one of the, um, the teens at the front desk, I guess, cause he was not understanding what was going on. And while that embarrassed me, cause I told my dad, don't, don't trip like that. Um, and I had to tell him, don't embarrass me, sir. Well, I will leave. Um, and he's like, I ain't gonna embarrass you. But basically <laughs> like, uh, the girl was not understanding, you know, you know how you have people who are really respectful, respectful to older people. I say my dad like it's old and ancient, but like mm-hmm. older people, um, mm-hmm. they need they need respect, even if they're wrong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So she was just like rolling her eyes and getting an attitude or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, don't meet him on that. You know, like just say, hey, sir, I'm sorry that you didn't know that you didn't because it was about signing a waiver. Um, I'm yeah. sorry you didn't know about signing a waiver, but um, you can definitely go to the back and sign a waiver. And I do know my dad was wrong for what he did. I did apologize to the girl. You know, I mouth to her like that. Um, but, you know, in, in general, you have to understand there are teens there. And um, and they're running the place. And there's one, that, um, like I said, that one girl at the VR headset place. A lot of times she was staring off on the side like this. Yeah, she was looking like she was... She was going to her happy place half a bag on time. And I was like, okay, I, I see what's going on here. Like mm-hmm. I said, I would not ever work there. I wouldn't wish anybody to work there. Overall, you think that Urban Air, especially the low um, location, it was okay. Um, it could be better. Would you that. go back? Would I go back? No, would I go back? No, nope, me neither. No, I, I would not go back. And I want to be clear, I would not go back to the Laurel location. Yeah, I want to go back to the Laurel location. I would go to another location to see what it's like. And if it was better, then I would go to that location. So yeah, so check out this video right here for the best tablet for kids. Uh, We'll see you next time. Peace. Bye.